Recap of Emily in Paris Welcome to the prestigious channel. Today we are going over the recap of Emily in Paris. You won't want to miss any part, so stay till the end. Kindly subscribe and click the bell button. Emily in Paris is an American comedy drama streaming television series created by Darren Starr for Netflix. Set and filmed in Paris, the series stars Lily Collins as the eponymous Emily, an American who moves to France to provide an American point of view to Savoir, a French marketing film. There, she struggles to succeed in the workplace while searching for love and experiencing a cultural clash with her boring and mundane Midwestern U.S. upbringing. It also stars Philippine Larry Billiot, Ashley Park, Lucas Bravo, Samuel Arnold, Bruno Gori, Camille Razet, and William Abadi. Produced by MTV Entertainment Studios and originally developed from the Paramount Network, where it was given a straight-to-series order in September 2018. The series moved to Netflix on July 2020. Filming takes place in older France, mainly in Paris and its suburbs, and began in August 2019. Emily in Paris premiered on October 2, 2020. To positive reviews in the United States, but was criticized in France with many French critics condemning the show for negatively stereotyping Persians and the French. In November 2020, the series was renewed for a second season by Netflix, which started filming in May 2021 and premiered on December 22, 2021. Premise Emily in Paris follows Emily, a driven 20-something American from Chicago, who moves to Paris for an unexpected job opportunity. She is tasked with upbringing an American point of view to a vulnerable French marketing film. Cultures clash as she adjusts to the challenges of life in Paris while juggling her career, new friendships, and love life. Plot of Emily in Paris Season 1 and 2 Season 1 after the American marketing company, she works for Acquire Savoir, a top-notch marketing firm in Paris. Emily Cooper is selected to move overseas and become the American representative overseas, given that her boss, Kate Malosh, is pregnant and unable to go. Despite her enthusiasm to join the team, Emily has no knowledge of French language or customs. This is clear during her first weeks in the country when she is instantly criticized by her peers for speaking loudly, arriving places early, and never not working. While Emily is committed to her job and excited to kickstart different projects, her Persian's co-workers are not on the same head pace as her, preferring to smoke cigarettes, take things as they come, and generally embrace a healthier work-life balance. In the beginning, Emily has also determined to remain in a long-distance relationship with her boyfriend Dog Gro Hartrumpf, who stayed in Chicago. Their breakup happened soon after her move, given that her boyfriend wasn't willing to leave Chicago aside to visit her in Paris. The hope at the end of the tunnel. Just when everything seems to go south, Emily's life takes an unexpected turn for the better when her campaign for a menopausal product goes viral, questioning the fact that the word vagina is masculine in French, even attracting the attention of First Lady Bergat Macron. At the same time, she earns more and more followers on Instagram as she captures beautiful shots for her surroundings and everyday affairs in Paris. Talking about affairs, love isn't that far away from Emily's radar. From Anton, who secretly has an affair with Sylvie, to Camille's Camille Razat younger brother's Timothy. Remember the awkward moment when she noticed he was just 17? The character had multiple encounters with bachelors, but none of them stole her heart the way her neighbor Gabrielle Lucas Brava did. However, there is a slight problem. He is in a relationship with Camille, a girl who Emily quickly befriends. New friendships blossom. Camille and Gabrielle aren't the only ones to cross Emily's path when the subject is friendship. Most notably, Emily becomes close to Mindy Chan, Ashley Park, a wealthy Chinese woman who works as a nanny in Paris after she failed at her chance to fame in an American Idol-like competition. As the two confine to each other, Mindy helps Emily understand the French ways better, and in turn Emily supports Mindy by reminding her of the dream she used to love of becoming a well-established singer. Witnessing Mindy singing La Way and Rose in the middle of the park was a highlight during this season. She's also the only one who knows about Emily and Gabrielle Fling, so the two best friends keeps the details under wraps whenever Camille is close by. A disaster for the better. Despite the successful turnaround of the Vega June campaign, Emily faces a PR stunt when she poses on a fashion show wearing Perry Cadolds, Jean Christophe Beauve dress, and is slammed with paint by a group of controversial designers called Grayspace. 
The repercussions are disastrous as the character lands on the boss Sovi, Philippine Lori, a valid reason to fire her. In order to make amends, Emily helps Kadal get his payback by crashing Grace Pay's fashion show and securing her job back. Not to mention that she sparks up a Season 2 of Emily in Paris continues where the first season left us off. Now a little more savvy about life in Paris, French classes, which she is miserably failing. This is where she meets a fellow expect, who both infuriates and intrigues her. But it isn't just Emily's funny outfits that seem outdated. The series itself, its storyline feels dated too. The series perpetuates an all too familiar perception of Paris, as seen through rose tinted glasses. One thing in particular that jumped out of the French Secretary of State in charge of rurality, Joel Girard, was the train Emily takes for the Saint Tropez which look a million miles off compared to reality. As related by LCI, the politician poked fun at the cliché, showing that how the luxurious Orient Express style night train in the series looks nothing like the real SNCF trains. The city of Paris and Emily in Paris feels like a petrified backdrop, the one that tourists dream about, where a ride in a beauty mouche is seen as romantic. Everything that happens in this second season feels like a movie or series that could have been made 10, 20 or more years ago. There is nothing surprising about what happened between Emily, Gabrielle, Camille and then Alfie. Every dialogue is predictable. I found myself perpetually knowing what would be said or what would be happening. Even supposedly big twist at the end was no surprise. Some plot lines also make no sense. Without wanting to spoil anything, why, for example, is meddling Kate Flash, Emily's pregnant boss from Chicago, flying to Paris when the whole plot of the beginning season 1 was that she couldn't go to Paris because she was expecting? This is not to say that Emily in Paris season 2 isn't entertaining. This series continues to be one that can be enjoyable binge. It is great series to help you dream about an idealized Paris trip. But for that, the French series called My Agent also on Netflix is better. On September 5, 2018, it was announced that the Paramount Network had given the production a series order for a first season consisting of 10 episodes. The series was created by Darren Starr, who has a multi-year overall deal with Viacom CBS and develops for Viacom CBS and for outsider buyers via MTV Entertainment Studios. Starr was also expected to serve as an executive producer alongside Tony Hernandez. Production companies involved with the series were assaulted to consist of Jack's Media. Only July 13, 2020, it was reported that the series would move from the Paramount Network to Netflix. On November 11, 2020, Netflix renewed the series for a second season. Casting On April 3, 2019, Lily Collins was cast in the title role. On August 13, 2019, Ashley Park had joined the main cast. On September 19, 2019, Philippine Lori Bulu, Lucas Bravo, Simil Arnold, Camille Razad, and Bruno Gori joined cast in starring roles, while Kate Flosh, William Abadi, and Arnold Virad were cast in recurring roles. On May 24, 2021, Lucien Leviscant was cast in recurring role, while Abadi was promoted to series regular for the second season. Filming Principal Photography for First Season Principal Photography for the First Season in Paris and its Suburbs was expected to begin in early 2019, but began in August 2019. Many scenes are filmed at the place The Estrapade in the fifth arrondissement, including the site of Emily's first apartment, the restaurant Les Dukes Compres, and the bakery La Boulangerie Moderne. Some scenes are also filmed at the Site du Cinema, a film studio complex in Saint Denis. Famous Persian sites to feature in the series include Le Grand Beaufort, the Pont Alexandre III, Palais Garnier, L'Atelier des Clumeros, Jardin du Luxembourg, Jardin du Palais Rolle, Café de Flore, and the Pantheon. An episode was also filmed at the Chatea de Sone in the Department of the Indre at Lorry. Additional photography took place in Chicago during November 2019. Filming for the second season began on May 3, 2021 and concluded on July 19, 2021. Filming locations for the second season include Paris, Saint Tropez, and various other locations in France. Filming of the second season in Paris causes problems with the neighborhood, the crew being judged brutal, threatening and too intrusive. For this season, Lily Collins has stated that it's a set in a COVID-free world, as the decision was made by the producers to ensure escapism through joy and laughter. In scenes that involve crowds, masks were off, 
when they were on camera and back on once completed, which Colin stated was difficult to pull off. Thanks for watching till the end. Kindly subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to keep you updated with our future amazing videos.